There are around 600 cryptocurrency exchanges worldwide and some offer cheapest trades whereas others offers more coins to trade. And to make use of these benefits, sometimes you may have to transfer coins from one exchange to another. Moving your crypto between Binance and eToro is easy and can be done in a few simple steps. And in this video, I'm going to show you how. So let's get started. To make it short, I'm going to assume that you're already done with all the registration process and you got a Binance and an eToro account. Transferring crypto between any two platforms involves just three steps. First, initiate a transfer from the exchange from where you want to send the crypto. Second, get the address of the recipient wallet from the exchange you want to transfer to. And then just provide this address in the initial exchange and then click send. That's it. You will soon get the network confirmation and then the crypto will be available in your account. First, I'll show how it's done on the website and then later with the app. I'll be using XLM or Stella Lumens as an example, but the process is similar for any other crypto. When it comes to eToro, you can't directly transfer your coins from your eToro trading account. For that, you have to move the asset first to the eToro mobile wallet before you can do the transfer. And remember that transferring coins is one way. That means you can only transfer the coins from eToro trading platform to the mobile wallet, but you cannot transfer it back. Now open the eToro app and click on the portfolio tab. Now select the asset you want to transfer and click on the action by XLM to open the trade window. Here you can see an option to move the coin to your eToro wallet. And for those who don't see this option, check if you satisfy all the required conditions. New users have to wait a certain number of days from when they made the first deposit to the eToro account. And it also depends on the payment mode used when you made that first deposit. After you complete your transfer, it would probably take one business day for the asset to be available on your money wallet. After that, open the eToro money app and select the crypto you want to transfer. Click on the send button to initiate the transfer. Now next step is to get the recipient's wallet address. Now open your Binance app from your phone. This is the light version and is enough for almost all the basic functions, but you also have the option to go for the advanced version. Click on the wallet tab and select the deposit option. Now select the crypto you want to receive. After this, we have to choose the appropriate network. For XLM, it's the XLM network. One important thing you have to consider for XLM is to also copy the memo tag. This is kind of an additional address feature necessary to identify the transaction. Now get back to the eToro money wallet app, enter the amount you want to transfer and paste the address in the address field. Click on the send button to initiate the transfer. The procedure is similar but reversed if you want to transfer from Binance to eToro. Open your Binance app from your phone. Go to the wallet tab and click on the withdrawal button. Now select the crypto you want to send. Next step is to get the recipient's wallet address. So for this, go to the eToro money wallet app and now select the coin you want to receive from the list. I'm going to choose XLM in this case and click on the receive button. And now you will be shown a wallet address to which you can send your coins. Just copy this address. Now go back to the Binance app and paste the address in the address field. Now enter the amount and click withdraw to complete the transaction and receive crypto in your eToro account. But in this case, the crypto transfer to the eToro ends up in your money wallet app and cannot be moved to the eToro trading platform to buy and sell. You can use the eToro money app as a storage wallet to store your crypto and then move it to any other exchange when you want to trade. It could take somewhere from a few seconds to few minutes to register the transaction on the blockchain and the funds to be credited in your receiving exchange. And this time varies depending on the network and the current traffic. If you want to reduce the transfer time and escape the enormous fees associated with some tokens, you can watch this video where I reveal a little secret on how to transfer the asset using an intermediary coin. And if you still don't have a Binance or an eToro account, please use the link in the description below to open one. We both will get a commission and you will also be supporting the channel to create more valuable videos like this. Until I see you in another video, relax and enjoy the ride.